Hi everybody, it's Aaron from DV Workshops and a quick lecture here on how to create square videos out of your 16 by 9 video so that they play better on Facebook both desktop and mobile. They've done research and they've shown that videos that look like this, square in nature, get more engagement, especially on mobile. In fact, 7 of the 10 top viewed videos were in this square format. So basically what I'm going to teach you is how to take something that looks like this that you shot originally and make it more Facebook friendly. Okay, real easy. Here we go. Step one is you need to come up here and create a new project. Remember in Final Cut Pro, a project is a timeline. I'm going to select project and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here where it says video and this is where you can screw up because I'm going to tell you to type in 1080 twice and you're going to go, where do I 1080? It only lets me do this. You have to come over here and scroll down to custom. So I'm on custom and now I'm going to type in 1080 is the sizing for both. It's going to be a square. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and match the format I shot it in. This material was shot in 30p. So I'm going to create a brand new timeline, or as Apple likes to say, project. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to choose the material. This is the material. I'm going to bring it into my timeline. You can see now it's certainly not square. It's 16 by 9. But if you look over here, the window, I'll close the inspector for a second, it's a square. It is a square. I'm going to put the inspector back on because we're going to need it. So what I need to do is have this fill the whole square. And to do that, I'm going to select the clip and I'm going to come over to the inspector. And in, by default, it says fit. I'm going to choose fill. Do you see that? And now it's filling it. Yes, it's cropping stuff up. Yes, you may have to use transform to move things around uh, inside there. For example, I'll come over here. But the next step is what I want to do is, by the way, then you're done. That's all it takes. Export it out. You're done. Create a new project, change spatial conform to fill, export it, you've got it. But if you notice a lot of the Facebook videos that play in the square format, they've got text below it and sometimes on top of it in color. Uh, it could be just transcriptions of what people are saying rolling on the bottom. So I'm going to teach you very quickly how to make that look in addition to just what we just did which was square fill. So what I'm going to do now is I want to uh, crop this a little bit. So I'm going to come over here to the Crop and Trim Tools. And I'm just going to see how I'm trimming out the bottom there. And then I'm going to trim some of the top out too. And we're going to have color in there. So I'm going to come over here to Generators. Final Cut has up some great built-in solids. So I'm going to use Custom, which uh, initially is black, but we'll change that to a different color. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. So I'm going to bring that underneath the clip, underneath the clip. And what I'm going to do is click on custom here, come back over to the inspector, and you see video, that's where we did the, the fill, member. And right here, we're going to select generators. I don't want to fill this, we're going to keep it just as it is. And where it says color, I'll choose a color, maybe something like that. Perfect. Good. And I'll shut off the crop. So now you have color on top and bottom. Again, all I did was come over here and I just trimmed some of it out, remember? And now I'm going to put some text on it. So I'm going to come over here to text and I'm going to choose basic text, custom, which is the, the text that really has nothing. I'm going to just park it there for a second and bring it right up so I can see it. It should be on top. Cool. I'm going to select it and I'm going to move it around. If it doesn't move, make sure you shut off the trim and the crop. Now select the title, move it down, type in some new text, and folks, there you've got it. This seems to be, according to research, the way to get more attention to your videos, and it fills all the real estate you can get, especially on mobile. Okay, so let me summarize again. First, file, new, project. Change this to custom. Change the resolution so the same numbers appear in both, 1080 to 1080. Match the rate you shot it in. Hit OK. Bring in the clip. Select the clip. Come over here. Choose Fill. Boom. And that's all that takes to it. Remember, I also talked about how I used the Trim and Crop function to trim some of the top and bottom up. And I later put in a color and that color went underneath it and filled those spots and I later brought in text. Great! That's it folks! 
Hope you enjoyed this quick lesson on how to make a square video to get more views on Facebook. I'm Aaron Rainin for dvworkshops.com, and I hope to see you one day at one of our hands-on video workshops, either in New York City or Los Angeles. Have a great one.